At the top of the programming journey, we have two robots, LottieBot and OttieBot. And now we're gonna talk about LottieBot. So LottieBot is the first robot in the range that no longer has buttons on the robot herself. In fact, you have to use a tablet device, an Android or an iOS device to control her. She is absolutely jam-packed full of sensors that make her a perfect steam robot. Underneath, we have two buttons, one to turn her on and one to mute her audio. When you turn her on and place her on a desk, she'll turn around three times. And what she's doing here is she's calibrating herself with her internal compass. So she's finding where north is, and when she gets to her third turn, hopefully she'll stop and turn green and let you know that she's ready to go. Perfect, so now that she's flashed green, we know that she's calibrated and that she's ready to go. So that's the first of the sensors that are inside of LottieBot. She has a compass that can be used to gather coordinates and the children can place her in the direction that they want her to point. Additionally, underneath, she has two sensors here and here that are called cliff edge sensors that prevent her from roaming off the end of the table. At this age, we appreciate that children like to sit at the desk rather than on the floor because they're a little bit older. So this just prevents her from accidentally falling off of the desk and injuring herself. To the front, she has two proximity sensors and these are used to determine how close an object is to her. And to the rear, she has some bumper sensors, which are triggered when she physically bumps into something. To the top, she has a light sensor, which can indicate the light levels in the room and she has a thermometer, which can indicate the temperature of the room. She also has a speaker and a microphone, and the microphone can read the sound levels in the room in decibels. So all of this sensor data can be manipulated by the children in their programming um, to affect how the robot moves and behaves. A great amount of inputs and outputs for the children to work with. Finally, LottieBot has a pen holder and she can draw highly accurate shapes. In fact, she can draw a circle to, um, to a very impressive standard. So she's able to fully embed mathematical learnings through geometry, through drawing angles, with the drawing facilities that she has.